Let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute. Stop. Let's talk about this. Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> It's been my experience, there are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Oh, um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes. To ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again what happened in there. And I will tell you again. <laughs> I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there! No! Betty! Don't! Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? said, I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from, from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Telson! Ah! So, Betty, maybe you can give me a straight answer. <laughs> ah! Ah! No. Yeah, I'm told that hurt.
going on here? Turn the log house into a hospital? Of course, Brooke Augustine, head of the Department of Unified Protection. As the DOP lockdown How long have I been out? Its second week now, there is still no sign of any progress. We'll, of course, continue to follow the story and we'll have the very latest for you coming up. For now, I'm Charles Sandall, US TV News. Nick, man, what the hell happened? anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? And no one could stop her? Betty. Dawson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We'd protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Hey. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly pig. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. That's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep. Because I need my rest. So that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know what you worry. I'm gonna be fine. Really? Mm hmm. Just see. Delson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's gonna take more than that. Oh, glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait. What? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? 
Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie? I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Dustin, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only... The only way it's kidding out is with the same power, I get it. Which means... You don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero. You know. What, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dale, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Holy crap, would you look at this. Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely... Are you kidding me? This is amazing! <laughs>